Hello everybody, my name is Shania Richardson. I am the owner and the operator of Sarah's Tutor Book. Sarah's Tutor Book started out as an after school program for children in grades first through eight. Um, I really felt the need to start this program because as a classroom teacher, I saw how many students struggled with reading. So I figured there needed to be an opportunity for reading to really be pressed and the issue to be pushed about literacy in the classroom. So as I'm trying to grow and develop this business, um, this young lady of 70 years old came to me and she asked me about homeschooling her grandson. And I was uncertain about whether or not I was capable of doing it, whether I knew enough about homeschooling to do it. But I researched it, looked into it, and it was much easier than I thought. Um, so... Uh, basically, I'm using um, time for learning, and I have been using that program for about a year now. And as I started homeschool tutoring um, this young man, I saw fit that my daughter should do homeschool tutoring as well. So what I have noticed about um, homeschool is that it is easier than you think. The Mississippi requirements on homeschool education are very lenient. There's no set curriculum that you have to use. It's just basically whatever you prescribe. Like I said, I researched uh, Time for Learning and it popped up as a recommended homeschooling tool on the Mississippi Department of Education website. Um, one big challenge since I've started homeschooling that I've noticed with um, the young man that I work with now and my daughter is that when we click on the levels for them to do reading and math skills, um, they were not at that level. And it took a little practice and it took a little pushing and it took a little crying and whining but uh, eventually we got it figured out my daughter is still in that process where she's you know trying to get a feel for it so I felt then like a big frustration like why don't you know this why didn't you learn this and I think back to my days in the classroom about how much time was actually used toward instruction and it was not it was not a lot of time used toward instruction because you had the bells ringing you had the fire drill you had announcements coming over the intercom you had uh, this kid over here who's making noises this kid over here who's coming late you know there are all these um, distractions that prevent learning from occurring in the classroom so um, as I push forward and go through this homeschool thing, like I said, it's easier than I thought. You can graduate from homeschool without having to take any kind of state testing. Um, your graduation from homeschool can be at any age. However, my goal is to make sure that all the students that are involved in homeschooling with me are able to pass the ACT test and not just pass it but excel and make perfect scores to receive scholarships. So basically I'm just advocating for homeschool. It's not as hard as you think and yes you can do it. And although there are some things that I have to you know relearn myself we're learning together and I think that's the best part of teaching when you're teaching but you don't know everything because your students teach you and you teach your students and it's just it builds a great bond because you know they just are able to excel and 
it sticks and they remember it so well because you know you you were in an environment where you're learning and you're feeding off each other um the small group setting and the one-on-one -on -one is it's a really good feature of homeschooling and also it's inexpensive uh, the program that I'm using the online program it's only um, it's only twenty dollars a month and it includes math spelling science social studies everything that kids are supposed to learn in school and I'm really happy with the program um, and I'm happy with homeschooling all together. Um, you don't have to know everything, but if you're willing to be a student, then you can be an excellent teacher. So I would really advocate for parents to really consider um, homeschool education. Even if you want to just do it over the summer, try it over the summer or um, during the spring break when kids are out of school or winter break, whatever. Um, I really encourage you to do it uh, because there's so many gaps right now in public education that it makes it very difficult for our kids to learn. And I feel like this is a great al alternative homeschool education. Thank you.